welcome to my Monday. It is an absolutely glorious day outside. Do you hear the birds? I would love to be outside today and get some work done. There's so much work outside and I cannot wait to start doing that, um, getting some of the stuff done. But today is just not the day. I have too many things that I need to get done inside and it's okay. I will open the windows and get the fresh air, but it is just so beautiful. This is the most beautiful day this year because we had, we have had pretty warm days, but usually it was pretty windy those days. And today there's no wind. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. Oh, I would love to be outside, but hey, maybe another day. We will have more nice days coming. So today I just cannot and that is okay. It's a lot later and I'm just sitting down for a little bit of a snack. I made these. I had a little bit of extra pie dough on Saturday and I made a few extra to save for myself at home and it is so good. Mm. You want some? Mm -hmm. So made myself an iced coffee. Feels good to sit down a little bit. But I just finished drawing the pattern on my quilt that I finished last week. And now it's ready to be quilted. And I will try and show you the quilt once it's completely finished with quilting and everything. But what I did, I didn't know that you can actually buy these um, quilting templates, I think they're called, on Amazon where you can, it will be a hard plastic where you can just quilt your quilt with. I just took a screenshot, printed it off, and made myself a little paper pattern. And it worked just fine, but it would have been a lot quicker if I had the, the actual template of the pattern instead of having a paper, like actual plastic pattern. Yeah, I know. And, um, but yeah, I finished it. My knees are hurting, my back is hurting, and... <laughs> what are you saying? What for Domayas? Yeah. But I'm just very glad that that is done. And I'm just gonna sit down for a little bit, have a little bit of a snack, and then I do have a ton of plants to transplant this week. I need to uh, size up the pots. And then also I have another batch of seedlings that I need to start this week. So I'm going to start doing that. I know the day is almost over, but maybe I can repot at least one flat of plants. I don't know, but I will see how much I can get done. Alright, I'm working on my seedlings. And I am debating if I should pinch my... Lobelia, I think I called it Lobularia in the other videos, but I think the correct way is lo Lobelia. But as you can tell, they're somewhat leggy, and I always thought it was because of lighting. Well, a lot of plants do that because of lighting. I don't think these should do that because of lighting, because I have lots and lots of grow lights. They're always under grow lights. I think it's just the fact that it's not a greenhouse. Obviously, you can have lots and lots of grow lights, but still, it's not the same lighting as it is if it's in the direct sun. Every time I start talking, you want to say something too. Yeah. So, I might cut them a little bit so that they're not quite as leggy, and hopefully that encourages them to branch out a little bit more. But yeah, that's just what I'm doing right now, just transplanting them. This is what I have them in, so they really need to go into bigger um, containers. So I will be working on that for the next little while for sure.
This evening, me and Johnny made a whiteboard with circles representing all the bins and writing what is in each bin so that it, it is easier for them to keep track of what's in all of their bins. Do you know which machines help farmers plant seed and kernels on their farm? Yeah, okay. Fertilizer. Klonta. Tracta. Is there a tracta? Who's not the cow? Cough. Okay, we'll do that. Who's the piet? Pony. Can you tell where I'm at? I'm almost drowning in plants. Just kidding. I've been loving this, but I have so many plants. Like it is ridiculous. Yesterday I counted and I had I still had 288 plants to transplant. So I still have quite a few to go. I was just working on my onions here. This is what I've been working on right now. As you can tell, they're a little bit yellowish and I'm kind of thinking it's maybe because of the roots, they don't have any more space to grow. But I don't know if it's just because of that or if I kept them too wet and especially like with the roots all in the bottom, it's kind of hard to give them the right amount of water. And I'm planting them in these containers. It's one size bigger than what they're in currently and they have so many big holes in the bottom so I cut up some coffee filters and I'm just putting them in to cover the holes a little bit and then I put in the soil so it doesn't get washed out with watering. I would prefer to plant them in this type of containers. I bought these at Dollar Rama, but I'm running out of this size so the onions are going to go into those for now and I finished my lobelia yesterday, no, the day before, so I have all of those. I have four flats with lobelias. I have so many. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And then these are my geraniums. I love, love how they look. They, they look so healthy and I just want to separate them a little bit more like maybe put them like that so that they have a little bit more room for air and growing but and then I think I will leave this flat for now these are the bachelor's button I think they will be okay for another week or so but I do really need to get these in two bigger containers these are the pansies and they have lots of roots coming out in the bottom so they need to go into bigger containers so i'm going to do those these tomatoes i did yesterday or was it the day before i think this was a monday these are the paste tomatoes and this is the baked beef tomatoes and my jalapenos i did those yesterday and then i have another flat of peppers that i need to put in bigger containers. So I have one, two, two flats more to do today, plus these onions. So not too many more, but that will keep me busy for a while. And since I've been showing you quite a bit already of transplanting and all that business, I'm just gonna be working here for a while. And then this afternoon I have a haircut scheduled. So I might, I don't know, I might take a few video clips here and there, I don't know. But then once I get back home, I will probably have to finish this because I don't think I will finish this completely. So yeah, that's probably going to be my Wednesday. Just transplanting and going for my haircut and Jemias' haircut. I'm excited to see his haircut or hopefully it's going to work giving him a haircut. He really needs it. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing for the next little while. Who just got up? It's 10.30. What did you do? <laughs> he slept so long. Like I was going and checking on him every once in a while because 
it's just not very common for him to sleep that long. Well, I guess he does sleep longer these days, but not 10.30. I guess he got tired at Sewing Circle yesterday, so that's why I left him. I figured, you know, it wouldn't hurt to sleep in one morning. Thank you. All right, after I got back from my hair appointment, I finished transplanting the rest of the stuff. And I have two more flats that will be ready probably next week. And that is the bachelor's button and the Cosmos. These Cosmos are so leggy and they came up in two days. I don't know if I sewed them a little bit too shallow or what happened. I had them under the grow light unless that didn't do enough for them. I don't know. A lot of people do direct sew them. I guess that might be a better option. I will try and save them. I'll keep you updated what happens. But that is not under grow light right now and that's because I ran out of grow light space. So as you can tell, everything else is under grow lights. And then I lowered every shelf and I think it's actually going to benefit the plants to have the grow lights a little bit closer and then I lowered them so that I can have screw something over there to have grow lights attached right there I have another set of four coming so that's three and then the very bottom one in the middle here needs a light as well so I will adjust that whenever my grow lights arrive but everything else is doing good um, the paste tomatoes I don't know what happened there i don't know the leaves look a little bit interesting but maybe that's just the variety and then this one as you can tell the baby leaves are just turning yellow and that is very normal it kind of looks like they're struggling but i don't think they actually are and the peppers i also transplanted those um looking good my onion same thing i noticed the very first few things that came up uh, are yellowing and that's maybe why they look the way they do but maybe they will change here and then I also did the pansies they're all transplanted and the lobelia and my geraniums they are doing really well and okay and more lobelias and then the, there's more pansies a few pepper plants a few onion plants that don't fit in the other trays so yeah that is my room and I did set it up a little bit different as you can tell uh, and that is because the fan I have right here and I needed the fan to be able to blow over all of the seedlings that's why I kind of moved the shelves a little bit and then I have my table here with all my other stuff so yeah I'm pretty happy with my greenhouse here <laughs> Let's see how everything is going to do in a couple months from now.
cash or yeah so that's where I'm going I'm gonna go clean a house and then I'm gonna drop this little guy off at my sister-in-law's place and it's testing this mom's emotions <laughs> I am I don't know I don't like the feeling of dropping him off but I know he's gonna be fine it's only a couple of hours and I will be able to see him again but I don't know it's just I've never brought him away before this is the very first time ever that I'm bringing him away so I guess you have to just be brave and just go for it I guess but yeah I'll be fine he will be fine but yeah that's what I'm doing this afternoon. This morning I was doing laundry and editing. So yeah, that's kind of my day today. All right, I just dropped him off. It's easier said than done. <laughs> I'll be fine, I'll be fine. He will be fine, but yeah, there's something about doing that the first time. I know it will, would get easier if you would do it more often. I, I'm sure it would get easier, but Right now it's kind of hard for me, but yeah, at least it's not a whole day or a whole night or anything like that, just a couple hours, and um, who knows, it might motivate me to work that much faster that I'll be done in, who knows, three hours instead of four, I don't know, I'm shooting for four hours, um, and then plus the driving, it'll be close to five hours till I see him again, so um, yeah. Hopefully it will motivate me that much that I will get it done in a shorter amount of time. And it is five hours later. Oh, I am really really tired but I got the whole house cleaned and I did clean the walls in the bathroom I cleaned the stove and like basically the whole house so yeah it did take me five hours I was really hoping that four would do it but it didn't so five it was but I'm glad I got it done and now I cannot wait to see my little boy so I'm gonna hurry and get him and then go home and I guess start some supper that was actually the first tractor and cedar that I've seen out this year like driving so that means seeding time is really really close it's very exciting but at the same time it's a little bit scary because Johnny is going to be home very late and long long days and weeks are ahead of us so I guess I can get myself ready and get excited. Look who we have here! Jonas! He did really well by the sound of it so I'm just happy to have him back. hoping today would be a really nice day and then today I would have time to work outside but it's not it is kind of chilly and also the wind is blowing so oh well 
then I'm gonna work inside. <laughs> I guess I still have some time to clean up the yard. It's not like I need to get it done like this week, but I figured if the weather was nice and I had an extra day, why not? It would be so much fun, but of course the day I have time, it's not nice outside, so that's okay. I'm gonna try and find something inside. My sister-in-law and a friend is coming over, so we're gonna have a great day inside and we're gonna enjoy ourselves. <laughs> up making egg noodles and it was fun we had fun doing it and I don't know if you ever seen that but we just let them dry like that till they're completely dry and then we can break them into however big long pieces we want them and then they stay good for quite a long time and we just boil them whenever we need them so anyways I'm working on the video so that's what I will be doing for the next little while and then also again start supper <laughs> because it's almost supper time again so Happy Saturday. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I remember that I never showed you my hair, the results of my hair. I got it trimmed a little bit. I think I got about four inches cut off. So it sounds like a lot, but I still have quite long hair. So with summer coming up, warm weather and working in the garden, I figured it would be really nice to have my hair a little bit shorter. I guess I got quite long hair before this, so I still have quite long hair so but wearing my hair up is just not my thing so I figured with working outside a lot it would be nice to have my hair a little bit shorter so and today is just a day where I'm gonna clean my house again once again but I don't plan on filming that so I just have one thing to show you I told you the other day that I would keep you updated on the filter of the air purifier and I'm gonna look into that and see if it did anything for us. This is where I have it right now. That is our entrance and then this way is our kitchen. And up until a week ago I had it in our bedroom and then I usually had it on during the night. And this last week I had it in the kitchen. I just figured I would see where we liked it better. But um, when I had it in the bedroom I usually ran it through the night and if I have it in the kitchen here, I would just usually turn it on in the morning and then turn the timer on to eight hours and then just let it run during the day. And then I would put the child lock on just so Demias wouldn't turn it off. And and if he presses like multiple buttons at once, I was afraid that he would kind of mess it up or something. So that way he can play in this area, but he doesn't do anything. So. But yeah, this right here, it had it when it got chipped to us or when we received it. So I don't know, it's kind of a scratch or something. But yeah, let's see if we have anything in the filter. I've used it now for about a month, as I said. So, oh yeah, we do have something in here. Whoa, that is quite a lot of dust. I do have before pictures, so I will insert those as well. This is what the filter looks like before we use it. 
Wow. Okay. Um, I guess this is all the dust that is not in the air anymore. anymore. And then I'm sure there's a lot more on there that we don't see with our bare eyes. But uh, you, do, you can purchase new filters on Amazon. They're very affordable. But I think I'm just gonna maybe vacuum this one off and then put it back in for now. And then it has the filter time. So it shows you when to replace the filter. But I think if I just clean this off for now a little bit, um, that might be good. So anyways, I'm excited to see what it's gonna do for pollen season for us. It's not pollen season here just yet. So I guess we'll see once it's officially pollen season if we notice a difference, especially with a stuffy nose during the night. So yeah, anyways, I just figured I'd show you. So if you've been looking for an air purifier, I can say this one is a good one. It's affordable and it works really well so far anyways. And thank you for Membrane Solution for letting me test it and for sending that to me. And I still have a discount code for you if you think of purchasing one. I will leave the link in the description box as well. And then also I will leave the dis discount code in the description box as well. So you can check it out and use the code if you think of purchasing one. So anyways, <clears throat> I think I'm going to end the video here. I think my video is plenty long again. So you said that you liked long videos. So here you go again. <laughs> Once again, it's a long video, but hey, I was glad to hear that a lot of you um, picked long videos because, or said that you liked long videos because I feel like I'm talking so much and I usually end up having longer videos. So anyways, I have a busy Saturday ahead of me. I do want to clean the whole house and then hopefully get our car somewhat cleaned again. So anyways. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, yes, oh.